Are you one of the many people that have left one of the thousands of comments that say Californians are invading your state? If so, this video is for you. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs and a very important video. At least important to the people that think millions of Californians move to their state every year in an attempt to change their backwoods little state into the new California. Honestly, the states that complain the most are the states that not many people really want to move to. I mean, other than Texas, Idaho, and Colorado, they complain a bunch in the comment section, and a lot of people want to move there. Today, we are ranking every state by its estimated influx of Californians they got in 2019, according to the US Census. 2020 won't give us an accurate account of the migration due to the pandemic, so we're just gonna go with 2019. But we did look at 2018 and 2017 numbers, and they were about the same as 2019. So, you know, I'm sure 2020 in a normal year without a pandemic would have been very similar. Make sure you watch till the end of the video and tell me if your state or any state had more or less than you thought it would have. All right, let's see who's getting the least and the most Californians. Number 49. Delaware. Yeah, Delaware. It's not a big state. Not a lot of people move there from California. If they do, it's usually for work, but it's the other side of the country and it's not really the best weather. So not many Californians move there. Delaware received 161 Californians in 2019, but 1630 moved to California from Delaware. Number 48, North Dakota. Most of the people moving to North Dakota from California have something to do with the energy industry. Usually they're going there for a job or retirement because it's really cheap. We just talked about North Dakota in a past video. North Dakota saw 404 people from California in 2019 and they lost 710 to California. Number 47, West Virginia. Now this one kind of shocked me a little bit because as we all know, West Virginia has got its problems, but one problem they don't have is being expensive. And that's why most people are moving to West Virginia. It's a beautiful state too. I mean, they got some pretty scary little you know, neighborhoods out in the woods there. I would call them neighborhoods, but they're called hollers. It's a very inexpensive state to live in and it's very beautiful. And that's why 940 Californians moved there while West Virginia only lost 303 people to California in 2019. Number 46, Vermont. A lot of people complain that liberals moved to their state and turned it into a liberal state when it used to be conservative. Well, Vermont's very liberal and a lot of California liberals are going to Vermont. They just like it. It's a beautiful state, good people. It's a little more expensive, but it shares a lot of the same views that a lot of people in California do. Vermont saw 1,048 Californians in 2019 while losing 784 to California. Number 45, New Hampshire. Right next door to Vermont, you have New Hampshire and very similar numbers. 2019, they got 1,110 Californians while losing 709 to California. 44, Maine. Maine, up there with Vermont, New Hampshire, New England, is very popular with older Californians that have some money that want to retire and don't mind the cold because it does get cold in Maine. Beautiful land, much like Vermont, New Hampshire, and West Virginia. It's nice, green, beautiful. 2019, 1,644 Californians moved to Maine and 2,000. 335 headed to California. Number 43, South Dakota. South Dakota has become kind of popular in the last couple of years. It's inexpensive, it's cold. Again, if you don't mind the cold, it might be a good option. Coming from California might be a little bit of a shock to the system though. South Dakota saw 1,778 Californians while losing 1,345 to the Golden State. 42, Rhode Island. Now, Rhode Island is attracting Californians if they're in the finance industry or insurance. That's kind of big in Rhode Island. Rhode Island's not that big, so it's really not on many people's radar unless they're going there for work. In 2019, they saw 1,854 Californians while losing 2,839. 41, Nebraska. Nebraska is a great state for retirees and people that enjoy things like watching grass grow, paint drying, getting lint out of your belly button, playing solitaire, and pretty much doing nothing. Nebraska had 2,035 Californians move in while losing 2,587. Number 40, Alaska. This is the first one I'd say that the number didn't match what my opinion was because I know a lot of people that have moved up to Alaska. So sometimes, you know, because of your experience, you think it's a lot more than it actually is. Yeah, but Alaska saw 2,547 Californians move up there, which again, I thought it was gonna be like five, 6,000, but they lost 5,064 to the Golden State. 
A lot of people are flooding out of Alaska these days. 39, Mississippi. I am surprised this wasn't one of the first ones on the list. 39th is respectable, especially in my opinion. I think the only two types of people that moved to Mississippi from California moved there because of family or they didn't do much research past the cost of housing as it is cheap to buy a house in Mississippi. Mississippi saw 3,024 Californians move into the state in 2019 while losing 2,354 to the Golden State. 38. Wyoming. Uh, here's another one that kind of shocked me. I thought more people were moving to Wyoming. Wyoming doesn't have that many people and they got a lot of room to have people move in. They also complain a lot when Californians do show up there. In 2019, you had 3,211 people show up, so 3,211 reasons to complain. And going the other direction, Wyoming saw 1,159 people head to California. Number 37, Kentucky. Now, Kentucky's kind of hit or miss. Depending on who you talk to, where you go, you're gonna get different opinions on the state from the locals. I've talked to a few that hate it and couldn't wait to get out of the state. And then I've talked to quite a few that just love the state. And in the comment section, it's again, it's 50-50. It's really weird. But the Bluegrass State saw 3,410 Californians show up while losing 2,606. 36. Alabama. Bama has a growing tech industry. They have a lot of backwood places, which usually get the press, but they have a lot of tech moving into this state, so it makes sense a lot of Californians are heading out there. In 2019, they saw 3,690 Californians show up while losing 3,310, so they're almost even. Close. 35. Connecticut. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of Connecticut. Don't know why. I like most of the New England states. This one's just never really done it for me. It's weird. It's got some really rundown towns and cities, but they all also have some extremely wealthy, well-maintained cities and towns. It's weird. Connecticut received 4,049 Californians while sending 4,067. So that's really close to breaking even. 34. Louisiana. The Pelican State got 4,228 Californians while sending 5,347. I don't know why anyone would move to Louisiana. I mean, they call it the sportsman's paradise. They call it the Pelican State. I don't like Pelicans, and I don't know what kind of sports they're playing there. I mean, the Saints? I don't know. It's weird. There's a girl I follow on Twitter named Claire. She's big into Louisiana, lives in Baton Rouge. I got to ask her one day, what's the appeal to Louisiana? I've never felt it. 33, Kansas. Remember everything I said about Nebraska? Well, it's the same thing in Kansas. One guy I know said it's a great place to move if you don't want relatives showing up unannounced, things like that, because nobody will visit you if you move to Kansas from California. But 4,957 people still did in 2019, but 2,941 headed to California from Kansas. 32, Arkansas. Yeah, I'm not sure why anyone would move to Arkansas from California. I mean, unless you're moving to the Fayetteville, Rogers, Springdale area. That place has stuff going on and it's a decent place to move to. The rest of the state, anyone you know moving there should have their medication checked. 31, Montana. This one kind of shocked me. This is another one I thought was going to be totally different. Montana received 5,298 Californians while sending 8,951. I totally thought that would be reversed, but you learn something new every day. Number 30, Iowa. Iowa is the only state left in the country where you could get Golden Girls and Murder, She Wrote reruns back to back from a local television station. It's that boring. Iowa received 5,819 Californians and they sent California 1,956. Number 29, New Mexico. After beautiful sunsets and a desert that has some amazing things to see, there's not much to New Mexico that draws a lot of people in. But in 2019, New Mexico got 5,915 Californians. They sent 3,418 the other way. Number 28, Minnesota. Minnesota has been in the news a whole bunch lately and none of it's good. I mean, it's a beautiful state and I love that state. Don't get me wrong. They've just been having a rough go the last couple of years. That didn't stop 6,232 Californians from heading there. And I guess it is kind of bad because 8,951 left for California. Number 27, Wisconsin. Now we've talked about this in videos before. Wisconsin has this weird stat where people don't like to leave the state. And even if they do leave the state, they eventually come back. Like if they go away for college, they always seem to come back to look for work in their home state of Wisconsin. It's really strange, but it is a very popular state these days, especially for families. And California saw 6,886 residents go to Wisconsin while they took in 4,811 from Wisconsin. 
Number 26, Indiana. Indiana is a great state in the rural areas and actually Fort Wayne is an outstanding place to live. Some of the other places, not so much. But Fort Wayne does get a lot of the residents that move from California to Indiana. The entire state got 7,255 Californians in 2019 and 4,923 Hoosiers went to California. Number 25, Oklahoma. Yeah, I don't get this one at all, but a whole lot of Californians are heading to Oklahoma. Oklahoma's not that populated. It doesn't have a lot going on. I mean, it's got a lot of history, but still, I don't get it. 7,408 Californians headed there in 2019, while 3,747 headed to California. 24, South Carolina. Now, South Carolina is one of my favorite states. Actually, I don't really like the state as much as I like some of the towns. Myrtle Beach is nice, and Charleston is an outstanding place to visit. I really like Charleston. After that, yeah, I could do without the rest of the state, even though I got a lot of family living there. 7,785 Californians headed to the Palmetto State in 2019, while 2,839 headed to California. Number 23, Missouri. The Show Me State has been showing a welcome mat to a lot of Californians in recent years. Actually, 7,970 moved there in 2019, but they showed an exit sign to just about as many Missouri Missourians, Missouriites, whatever they are. 7,638 of them headed to California in 2019. Number 22, Michigan. Michigan is probably one of the better states in the country if you could exclude Flint and Detroit. Detroit's getting better. The downtown area is really nice, but they still got problems out in the suburbs or, you know, still in the city, but, you know, outside of downtown. Anyway, that's still a nightmare. The rest of the state is great. Sure, it gets cold, but still. In 2019, 8,672 Californians moved to Michigan while 6,406 Michigan residents moved to California. Number 21, New Jersey. New Jersey has some problems and usually it's cost. Cost of living, cost of housing, and taxes will kill you in this state and it kind of shows because they only received 9,155 from California while sending them 10,812. Number 20, Maryland. Yeah, there's no reason to move to Maryland, really. I mean, Baltimore's a nightmare. It's getting better. A lot of tech companies are going there. Maybe in about five or 10 years, it'll be a great place to live, Baltimore. The rest of the state does nothing for me and actually does nothing for a lot of people because only 10,092 moved to Maryland from California in 2019, while 11,775 headed to California. That's a lot considering this isn't a big state. And most of those 10,000 that moved there were probably tech workers. And the 11,000 that headed to California can be considered refugees, I bet. 19, Hawaii. Hawaii is a great state and it's got a lot going for it. And that's why about 10,954 Californians headed there in 2019. But you gotta have a lot of money to live there. California received 11,985 Hawaiians. Up here in Oregon too, I'll just mention this real quick. When I was working at Nike, I swear it was like 20% of the people that I was working with came from Hawaii. And they all said the same thing. There's no real jobs in Hawaii. Number 18, Massachusetts. Massachusetts is a great state to live. Again, like Hawaii, if you got some money, you don't mind the cold in this situation. In 2019, 11,430 Californians thought the cold wasn't that big of a deal and apparently they had some money. But at the same time, 16,158 Massachusetts residents headed to California. Number 17, Tennessee. All right, so this is the state that kind of inspired this list. I've been getting those comments and emails from people forever about don't come here, we're full, da 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 da, keep your California ways and stay there. I got a lengthy email from some, I imagine she's a young lady because I just got that vibe, but she was under the impression that over 100,000 Californians moved to Tennessee in 2020. That's what she thought. She thought over 100,000 and it's the most moved to state. Yeah, so there's no way and I'm gonna prove it right now. Now, the census thinks she's way off. 11,874 Californians headed to Tennessee. That's kind of short of the 100,000 mark that this girl set. But at the same time, 5,863 Tennessee residents headed to California. So it is more popular with Californians and not as popular with Tennessee people. 16, Ohio. Nobody from California really moves to Ohio unless they're going to Columbus. That's the only place that Californians go to, apparently. I'm sure a couple stragglers went to other places, but a vast majority of them went to Columbus. California sent Ohio 12,277 residents, while 9,098 headed to California. 15. Pennsylvania. My second favorite state in the Union, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a great state and I'm kind of shocked that more people from California aren't heading there. It's got a lot going for it these days. But California sent 13,048 residents headed to Pennsylvania. At the same time, 12,578 headed to California. Number 14. Illinois. 
Not a lot of people are moving to Illinois these days. I mean, ever since Chicago kind of lost its shine, that was the biggest draw to the state. Chicago's got a big exodus going on right now, and it shows. 14,692 Californians landed in Illinois in 2019, while 24,085 headed to California. And I promise you, I don't have the exact number, but I would venture a guess that about 90% of those 24,000 left Chicago for California. Number 13, Georgia. Georgia's a great state that's been getting a lot of bad press lately. Beautiful state, great people. They just, like I said, bad press, and a lot of companies are moving out of there because of that bad press. But we'll see how that all pans out. In 2019, 15,437 Californians decided to head to Georgia, and that's probably a lot to do with the movie industry. A lot of things are going on in Georgia that have to do with the movies and television shows. At the same time, 14,496 Georgia residents headed to California. 12. Virginia. Virginia is a great state. My niece lives there. Love this state. 16,994 Californians landed in Virginia in 2019, while 24,506 headed to California. 11. Idaho. Idaho is no longer in the top 10. Almost. They're number 11. But for a long time, I'd say from about 2012 to 2018, they were towards the top of the list, like at least the fifth state for attracting not just Californians, anybody. In 2019, 17,722 Californians landed in Idaho while sending them 4,372. I did see a weird stat a couple of years ago that a majority of the people leaving Idaho are females under the age of 25. <laughs> I guess you just bail out of there once you get a car and an apartment down in Los Angeles or something. I don't know. But growing up, I'd see Oregon girls and Idaho girls always showing up at the beach. I grew up near the beach in Southern California, and I'd talk to girls down there that were new to the area. They always seem to be from Oregon or Idaho. It's weird. Number 10, Utah. Yeah, there's not much to say about Utah. Utah is just Utah. It's a great state to live, great for families, things like that. And a lot of people like it there. And a lot of people are moving there. As a matter of fact, 17,821 Californians headed there in 2019, while only sending 8,504 to California. Number nine, North Carolina. The Tar Heel State is one of the states that pushed Idaho out of the top 10. About the same time Idaho slipped out of the top 10 is when North Carolina got into the top 10, and here they are at number nine. Tar Heel State's a great state to live in, and the Charlotte area is blowing up these days. 18,023 Californians went there in 2019 and took up residence, while 13,863 headed to California. Number eight, New York. New York has been losing a lot of people to the point where they're kind of worried they're going to lose some congressional seats if they don't get more people in there. That's how many people they're losing. They actually think they're going to lose some representation in Washington. This is a prime example because it used to be like Chicago. Everyone was heading there forever. I mean, since the 1800s, that was one of the most moved to states. These days, not so much. But 24,332 Californians became New Yorkers in 2019, while 37,567 New Yorkers became Californians. Number seven, Florida. Now, this one would be different if we were going by the New York stat because tons of New Yorkers moved to Florida, not so many Californians. In 2019, 28,628 Californians moved to Florida, 22,692 moved to California. Number six. Colorado. Hey, look at that. Another one of my favorite states. Colorado has been popular for quite a while now and they have jobs and it's a great state to live in, especially if you're the outdoor type. We've discussed this on other videos in the past, but it is a great state to live in. So much so that 29,350 Californians moved to the Centennial State in 2019, while only 15,085 moved to California. Number five, Oregon. Yes, the Beaver State is still attracting a lot of Californians. They're still in the top five, so that's pretty good. They've been in the top 10 since like the mid to late 80s. A lot of Californians have been heading up here for a while. I was one of them in 2010. But in 2019, 37,927 Californians became Oregonians, while 17,265 Oregonians became Californians and now have really great tans and say the word dude a lot. Number four, Washington. Until the last couple years, I didn't think Washington was that appealing. I didn't think it was anywhere near the level of people moving from California to Washington as Oregon. I thought, Oregon blew them out of the water. I was wrong. They're very similar states, but Washington has one really appealing thing that Oregon doesn't have. No state income tax. Yeah, you get paid a lot of money and you don't like the state taking half of it? Move to Washington. There's a lot of states like that, but it's the one up here on the West Coast that does that. 46,791 Californians moved to Washington, while 31,882 Washington residents headed to California. Number three, 
Nevada. Yeah, Nevada, or as most people call it, Sin City. That's a really weird fact that a lot of people don't realize that the nickname Sin City is just Las Vegas. They seem to think it's the whole state. The word city is in the nickname. How can you get that wrong? Weird. But since it's right next door and it's a lot cheaper to live there, 47,322 Californians moved to the Silver State in 2019, while 26,433 headed to California. All right, do you guys know who's left? Have you been following along, marking it down on your little scorecard? Here we go. Number two, Arizona. Arizona has been gathering Californians for quite some time. It's like they're collecting them, like they're Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something. A lot of older Californians head to Arizona as soon as they retire. It's a lot cheaper. But in 2019, 59,713 Californians moved to Arizona, while 28,226 moved to California. And before we get to number one, don't forget, we got another channel called On This Day. There's a link down below. We'd like it if you checked it out and maybe even think about subscribing. All right, on to the big one. And number one, Texas. Yes, Texas wins. They won the California prize. They're collecting the most Californians. And by a good margin, they won. 82,235 Californians moved to Texas in 2019. And I know last year they had a pretty good year too, even though we had a pandemic going on. I know one person that moved there during the pandemic. Only 37,063 Texans moved to California though. But that's a lot, 82,000 in one year. Man, luckily Texas has a lot of open space. They got room to expand. Just gotta learn how to say y'all. Deal with the bugs. All right, that's today's list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this one was long and it was a little weird, but I thought we'd bring this up because a lot of people been, you know, they, they talk about this all the time. And I don't think people know how many people actually move to their state from California. All right, everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.